Good evening and welcome to evening prayer here at Emmanuel Episcopal Church. My name is Father David Bumstead. I'm the rector here. It's great to be with you tonight. Uh, well, I hope you've had a good day. I have to admit that I was a bit rushed uh, coming up to uh, the prayer office today. So uh, without further ado, let's just quiet down and say our prayers. Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 84. Psalm 84 on page 707 of the Common Prayer. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts! My soul has a desire and longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and a swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the desolate valley will find it a place of springs, for the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height, and the God of gods will reveal himself in Zion. Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Hearken, O God of Jacob. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand in my own room. And to stand at the threshold of the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is both sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will the Lord withhold from those who walk with integrity. O Lord of hosts, happy are they who put their trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? Let me ask you only this. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain, if it really is in vain? Does he who supplies the Spirit to you and work miracles among you do so by the works of the law or by hearing with faith? Thus Abraham believed God and was reckoned to him as righteousness. So you see that it is men of faith who are sons of the sons of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, In you shall all the nations be blessed. So then, those who are men of faith are blessed with Abraham who had faith. For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed be every one who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law, and do them. Now it is evident that no man is justified before God by the law, for he who through faith is righteous shall live. But the law does not rest on faith, for he who does them shall live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree, that in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Here ended the reading. Magnificat, my soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard that John had been beheaded by Herod, he withdrew from there in a boat to a lonely place apart. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. As he went ashore, he saw a great throng, and he had, had compassion on them, and he healed their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a lonely place, and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said, they need not go away. You give them something to eat. They said to him, We have only five loaves here and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, and taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven, and blessed, and broke, and gave the loaves to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up twelve baskets full of broken pieces left over, and those who ate were about 5,000 men, besides women and children. Here ended the reading. Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. 
he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Suffrages be. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat thee, O Lord. That thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat thee, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat thee, O Lord. That there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world, we entreat thee, O Lord. That we may depart this life in thy faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat thee, O Lord. That we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ, we entreat thee, O Lord. O God, whose never failing providence ordereth all things both in heaven and on earth, we humbly beseech thee to put away from us all hurtful things, and to give us those things which are profitable for us, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope we may know thee as thou art revealed in scripture in the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of thy love. Amen. Let's pray the second prayer of permission on page 71. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, Pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Amen. This time I'm bidding your intercessions and thanksgivings, whatever anxieties or uh, blessings that you have offered to God and perhaps even down in the comments below. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this day. We ask that you would uh, be with us now, open our hearts, to transform our minds in the renewal of the Spirit, that you would increase in among, among us the bonds of mutual charity, respect. find the justice they seek. We pray for police, that they would enact the justice they serve. We pray that you would help us to end racism.
racial injustice. We pray this day, of course, for all of those suffering as a result of coronavirus. You would restore all the sick people to health. You would watch over all of those who serve and care for them, doctors, nurses, medical professionals. We pray for your wisdom as we seek to reopen our communities. We ask your protection, O oh God, over who have suffered job loss or have had their livings otherwise compromised. We pray, O oh God, that those who have lost their work would indeed find in you the fullness of their vocation. We pray for all who have died, especially George Floyd, and all of those who have died of coronavirus. Lord, have mercy upon shine upon them. Amen. O oh God, you made us in your image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we that unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom it be in the Holy Ghost, be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thanks again for joining me this evening. I hope that you all have a good one and a safe one uh, and a peaceful one. I'm going to go pick up Becca now. Good night.